In this tutorial, we're going to be teaching you how you can add an inspection against a buyer that you have in your database. First of all, we'll go into the clients and we're going to use my record as the buyer. When we go into my particular record, we're going to go to the activity section. Now in the activity section is where we can enter in any inquiries this buyer may have, any inspections, contracts or offers. We're going to look at the inspection section and as you can see, my buyer has already been through one of the properties that we have listed. To add an inspection against a buyer, go to the action option located at the top right and you're going to select add inspection. You'll then need to select the property that they've inspected. So select from the list or you can simply type the address. You enter in the date and time that they inspected. For this inspection, we're going to say that it was today at 5 p.m. And then we can enter in how long it took and we were at the property for 30 minutes. Now out of 10 stars, what did they rate that property? In the referral source, we can put where they found out about this particular property. And then we can enter in their price guide. You then enter in private notes. And this is what is entered in against the client's record. This does not get sent to your vendor. So the private notes would be... Now once you've entered your private notes, you can then enter the vendor notes. And this is what will appear on the vendor reports. So in the vendor notes, you may enter something like this. Now once you've entered in your private notes and your vendor notes, you can then hit add inspection. This will then load the inspection against your client and we can see it here now. And if we go to the summary page and what you are able to see is that the client activity section will show us everything that this client has done in our office and any notes we have added. We can now see the inspection for 36 Malua was at 5 p.m. And we also have the other inspection of 14 Malua down the bottom. Now that you've added the inspection against your client, we can go to the properties and we can search for our listing. We can go into 36 Malua and when you go into the activity tab, what you are able to see is a list of all of the inspections that have happened on that particular property. The second way that you can add an inspection to a property is to come into the property and once you're on the listing, hit the action option and select add. From this screen, you'll be able to search your clients to link it to an existing client you have, which is very similar to the steps that we did before. Or you can come in here, add an inspection and directly create that client into your client's database. So we're going to look at the second option here. You can see that if you do want to search for an existing client, you just type their name You'll see them here and you can select them. If you don't have the client in the database, we can hit the create contact option. Now when you're creating a contact that's inspected a property, you want them to automatically go into your database. So automation is disabled at the moment and that would put them into your inquiries log as a client that you have to qualify. But for this training session, we're going to go on automation on. The client record will be created. So for this example, we're gonna add Mr. Eddie Blackwell and we're going to add in his mobile number. The inspection date and time was today at 11 a.m. and it took 15 minutes. We'll fill in his rating and his lead source. In the price guide we're going to put 1.2 and then we would enter in the private notes. Remember this is for your record about the person and the vendor notes is what will look for your vendor reporting as well. Now that we've entered in the notes for our record and for our vendor, we can add that inspection. When we add the inspection, you will now see that it is attached to your property. And if we go into the client's record and we look up Eddie, we can now see that Eddie has been added to the database. And we can now see that in the activity tab in inspections, we have the inspection attached to his record as well.